What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs. Caps through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, love everybody from the bottom of my heart chakra. We're at 13,290 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, for the newbies just joining, I get, these are free online videos from YouTube because I get money on the back end from advertisements from Google AdSense. Also get donations when you guys choose to donate and when I open personal readings and they're currently closed right now, just to let everybody know, okay? All right, so I received, uh, oh, also, everybody, I'm saying it until July 15th. Everybody, please think of me. I have a court date for a child custody battle hearing on July 15th of 2022. My, this is not the first rodeo with him. I think it's court date five, six, or maybe seven. It's something like that. It's at least five. And he's accused me of child abuse in the past. He's manipulated my daughter in the past to um, take photos when I had a boyfriend. I'm uh, trying to prove he lived with me as evidence of his belongings in my home. That was about five or six years ago. He's tried to get, uh, he's manipulated her to have walked around my home with the Google Duo, Duo video on. I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff, all kinds. So, this is not the first rodeo by any stretch with him, and that's just the truth. Um, I want, I hope there will be fair, equal justice in this because children, their manipulation of children are real, and that's just the truth. Adults should not abuse power and manipulate children, and that's just the truth. Adults should be adults, and if you might need to hear that, and I'm just being serious about that. Okay, so I received a channel message, in, um, and so I'm going to share it. Um, love you guys so much. I heard um, energy doesn't lie, people do. That's what I heard. So energy doesn't lie, people do. So you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Energy doesn't lie, people do. So I think somebody's been lying about person, people, place, or situation. But their energy, whether, because you know, everybody emits energy off of their body. Um, people new to spiritual realm because this is spiritual um psychic intuitive channel messages and it's from the spiritual realm so people new to spiritual community or new to um psychics or what have you what have you which i'm a very light side psychic um i know there's some psychics that aren't but i am um and that's just the truth everybody's different but um I use the cards and I use my psychic intuitive channel messages to pull the energy for you guys. That's how I do this. So the likes on the channel are very, very, very important because it helps me pull your energy in and it helps um, the business side, the my business side on Google, at um, on YouTube, sorry, on YouTube um, for, um, to, for the analytics side. It helps my channel. The more likes you um, put on my channel, the more it goes around YouTube. That's how it works on the analytics side. And it helps um, when it brings more people in, it brings my revenue up, which on the back end, the Google AdSense, it'll make it go up um, because you guys don't pay anything because I get advertisements on the back end. Just to let everybody know. But, um, but yeah, so anyway, so... Energy doesn't lie, people do. So somebody's been lying about person, people, place, or situation. But their energy, I think somebody's been pulling somebody's energy, is what I think. Somebody's been pulling somebody's energy, or they can just sense and feel energy. And feeling good vibes or bad vibes is what I'm feeling. Someone has gotten a huge wake-up call about someone in their community. A huge wake-up call. For some, it's a good wake-up call. For some, it's a bad wake-up call. Someone has got a huge wake-up call about someone in their community. Um, some it's a good wake-up call, some it's a bad wake-up call. So I think one of you guys can either feel somebody's vibe space as either good or bad. Because uh, I heard some of you guys have gotten good wake-up calls and some bad wake-up calls. But I think it's because you've either been pulling their energy through Tarot or 
you've been um, feeling the vibe space, um, like in the 3D, like you're around them in the everyday world, and you can feel the good vibes or the bad vibes. Now, you know, dark side spiritualists, they can use cloaking spells all day long to cloak their energy. Someone used a cloaking spell in the past, but it has been seriously removed. And it's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, I heard someone was using a cloaking spell in the past, but um, it's basically um, not working anymore. So d cloaking spells are used on the dark side, dark side spiritualists, light magic, things like that. Us light side beings, we don't have to use cloaking spells. We don't have to use them because everybody loves our energy. They want to be around us. They want to be around our energy, our good vibes, uh, because we don't put out negative to the universe. So us light side beings, people want to be around us because they want to feel the good vibes, feel the good spa um, energy, and um, be around that. But um, dark side people use cloaking spells because they have dark side energy because some of them attach demonic en entities upon themselves. And um, so they don't want people to know that they're dark side. But somebody was using a cloaking spell, but it's been removed. One of you guys has picked up on this fact is what I think. One of you guys has picked up on the fact that um, they were using a cloaking spell or that's what I think. That they were using a cloaking spell because now you can sense the bad vibes, the bad juju, basically. That's what I'm feeling for one of you guys. Um, but for one of you guys, you thought this somebody was bad vibes in the past. You thought they were evil or negative or demonic or what have you, but now you're realizing they're on the light side. They're good. They have good vibes. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. This is interesting. So energy doesn't lie. People do. And that's true. People lie all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. That's, I mean, manipulation and narcissism, sociopathic, psychopathic energy. I mean, and that's just the truth. All right, let's pull an animal spirit. Let's see what kind of energy we got going on here. I hope everybody's doing well. Someone's about to complete, completely see a change in their community soon. The way people act towards other people and the way they are going to act towards you. Okay, I heard someone's about to see a completely different vibe space in their community soon. This is at least for one of you guys. Um, you're about to see a difference in the way people act towards you and the way people act towards other people. Whoever you are and have this applied, sir, man. That's at least for one of you guys. Um, you're about to see the vibe space change, basically. You're about to see... Um, I don't know if you're going to... Uh, you're I, you're going to see it nonverbal. You're going to see the way they act towards other people change and the way they act towards you change. It, well, it could be nonverbal and it could be verbal. Um, I think it's going to be a mixture of both, whoever you are. I think it's going to be what they say to you, how they say it to you, how they treat you, and... Um, Nonverbal cues too. For some, it's going to be very positive. For some, it's going to be neg very negative, depending on what side of karma you're on. For some, it's going to be very positive. For some, it's going to be very negative, depending on what side of karma you're on. Is what I heard. So, for some of you guys, it's going to be very positive. For some, it's going to be very negative. But it really all depends on what side of karma you're on. So, what side of the karmic wheel you're on? Have you racked up karmic debt? Are you low vibrational? Do you treat people? Uh, are you high vibrational? Do you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity? Or are you low vibrational? Do you not treat people, treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity? If you've racked up the karmic debt and you're low vibrational, then um, I'm assuming it's about to go negatively for you because I feel the false mask has been ripped off or it's about to be. If you're high vibrational and you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity, I'm assuming it's going to go good for you because... You have paid off all your karmic debt, and um, people are now seeing the real truth because the veil has been lifted here. The veil has been lifted, and people are seeing things for what they really are now. And it, it took a while for it to occur in the energetic space, but it is happening now. And that's just the truth. The veil has been lifted.
The veil has been lifted, is what I heard. The veil has been lifted. That's confirmation for the spiritual realm. The veil has been lifted. So people are really seeing things for what they really are. Now, whatever that is and how that applies, okay? In your own life and situation, because you, you have to plug the message or messages in however they apply. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else, you guys. Spirit messages you have reflected. Spirit messages you have reflected. Someone very, 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 very high level is about to be investigated very, very heavily for abuse of power. And it's not going to go well for them. It is about to shock the hell out of them. They're very, very, very high level in their community. Okay, I heard someone very, very, very high level. Um, I think it's somebody, whoever this is I'm pulling in, I think it's somebody you guys know. Um, I think it's somebody, you guys are about to report this person or you already have reported this person. Um, I think it's someone you know, whoever this person is. I don't feel for a majority, I don't think it's you guys. I think it's somebody you know that you know has abused power. It's They're very, very, very high level in your community, whoever this person is. And um, I think you've already reported them with the Nightingale energy or you're about to because we have Nightingale and Oyster. So I think you've already reported them or you're about to. You know, the Nightingale in here, they're loud and proud. They're like reporter energy, like official reporter energy, speaking the truth energy. Um, and um, they don't care um, if it's going, if the truth hurts. They know it's the truth and they're going to speak it out kind of energy. Um, nightingale energy, truth speaking. With the, See how their beaks open? Loud and proud speaking the truth. Very opposite of like cover up energy. Um, but I feel it's you guys are about to do this. You've either already reported this person or you're about to. And so somebody very, very, very high level in your community, whoever this person is. Um, so I think they're very wealthy is what I think. I think they're very wealthy, very high level. And, but they have abused power in some shape, form or fashion. Um, you either already know this or you're about to learn of it and you're going to use your beak, the nightingale beak, and speak it out is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates, um, whoever you are. For some, you could be air signs or dealing with the air sign. If you are, you got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter, charts, or dealing with air sign because it's air sign energy and the animal spirit deck um, with the nightingale energy. And then we have Oyster. You are a diamond in the rough. A pearl in the oyster. You're about to really stand up for what is right. You are a diamond in the rough and a pearl in the oyster. And you're about to really stand up for what's right. So you plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. Um, you're a diamond in the rough and a pearl in the oyster, and you're about to stand up for what's right. So you're, a you know, there's pearls and oysters. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know, the process of a pearl being formed in an oyster is a very long one, but um, and it's very painful for the oyster. It actually, the pearl starts out as a piece of debris or dirt or something of that nature. Um, it gets stuck into the oyster shell and then the oyster it irritates the oyster and they start it starts forming a protective layer around the oyster i.e the calcified pearl type um material and then so it gets so big it finally forms as it does it and does it and does it to protect the cells the oyster to protect itself against this foreign object which was the dirt initially it becomes a pearl inside the oyster but a beautiful pearl. So it actually turns out to be something beautiful. Um, but the oyster initially did it to protect itself um, against the initial debris or dirt or whatever got stuck inside the oyster. 
for anybody who doesn't know that, I learned that on the History Channel a long time ago when I watched it with my dad. Um, and that's just the truth. So it actually turns out to be something beautiful. But it started from protecting itself. Um, if anybody didn't know that. So I heard you're a pearl in the oyster and a diamond in the rough. Um, and you are about to speak out your truth or the truth. And um, because you know, you have exposed that basically somebody is um, either a, um, somebody is giving you bad vibes or somebody's giving you good vibes and you know the truth. Because um, energy doesn't lie. People do. Somebody's been lying to you or has lied to you. But you know the truth diamond in the rough or pearl in the oyster for some this could be a um, diamond in the rough you know about that somebody's been trying to cover up someone's definitely been trying to cover up a diamond in the rough for one you're about to help this person in many ways someone's been definitely trying to cover up a diamond in the rough um, and for one of you guys you're about to help this person in many ways so, you, for one of you guys, you know a diamond in the rough. And for one, you are the diamond in the rough and the pearl and the oyster. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. For one, you are the diamond in the rough and the pearl and the oyster. And you're about to speak out the truth. Because um, you're sensing five space. Um, I think somebody had a cloaking spell on and the mask been ripped off. That's for one. For one, you know of a diamond in the rough and the pearl and the oyster. And they somebody's been trying to cover it up or keep it hidden or keep them hidden like Abuse energy is what I'm feeling, but for strategic reasons. But you're about to speak up or speak out or give information and use that speak is what I'm feeling and help this person out in some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates in the boss in one's life. Um, how that resonates, you guys. Let me see if I hear anything else. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, I know sometimes these messages can get a little confusing, but please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just a channeler from Spiritual Universe. You just have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.